When we first start designing for events, it can be tempting to create generic events. Something like Vehicle Updated sounds appealing because we can use the single event to encapsulate many different activities. This means that we have less code to write. However, when designing event-driven systems, it is far more important to make sure your events reveal their intent. Imagine if you wanted to use your events to try and diagnose a user issue. If the events don't convey their intent, this becomes difficult. For example, if all of your events were labeled as vehicle updated, you would have to look at each event to determine what the intent of it was. This may mean looking back at the state and trying to determine how it has changed. On the other hand, with an intent revealing event, this becomes easier. If, instead of vehicle updated, we labeled our event something like vehicle location changed or vehicle battery level changed, it's much more clear what the intent was. In this case, we can look back through our events and see very quickly what we were intending to do. This makes it easier to figure out where a problem may have occurred. For example, if our vehicle turned up in the wrong location, we probably only need to look at the vehicle location changed events to track its history. Once we have defined our events to be intent revealing, our downstream applications are better equipped to determine what they should pay attention to. If a downstream application is interested in vehicle battery levels but not vehicle locations, then it can filter out all of the events that it doesn't care about. This reduces the amount of time the application needs to spend processing the events, which is much more difficult to do if you use a generic event. Furthermore, generic events require you to store a lot of unnecessary data. If your event is vehicle updated, you probably need it to contain the entire vehicle, even though only a small part of the vehicle was actually changed. On the other hand, if the event is vehicle battery level changed, then we really only need to store the battery level and an identifier for the vehicle. We don't need to store the location, brand, color, etc. The result is smaller events. When our events are bloated with too much data, it creates unnecessary coupling. This coupling can make it difficult to evolve. Imagine if we wanted to change our battery information, perhaps to store additional details about the last charge cycle. If our event was vehicle updated, then we need to change that event and potentially any downstream consumers who may be handling it. But what about the consumers who never cared about battery level? If we ensure our events encapsulate only their intent, then we can reduce that coupling and make it easier to evolve. 